way, gee, Melbourne's cold this time of year, hey? Melbourne, listen, uh, we're trying to encourage tourists to come to Melbourne, you know, and we put out all these brochures full of lies. Look at this one, Victorian Tourist Association brochure, a photograph of a Melbourne street. But it's not a Melbourne street, that's a New York street. They chose a New York street because they think New York streets are more interesting than Melbourne streets. What they do is they reverse the negative so the cars look like they're going the same way, the right way. <laughs> And then they just glue a tram in the middle of it and they say there's a Melbourne Street, I ask you. And, and in here, it, listen to this, in here it says, Melbourne, where you really will discover the most diverse collection of places to go and things to do, all woven through this colourful, clean and multicultural city. Well, one out of three's okay. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely a multicultural city. I mean, some days it's like Channel 028 in 3D. But this, <laughs> This is what, this gets, I hate, look, living in, this annoys me. It says here, Melbourne is best known as the home of VFL football. Now I ask you, is that way to, any way to attract Japanese to our city? I mean, what, what are people going to think? I mean, it's bad enough that we are the home of VFL football without telling people that it's the home of VFL football. I mean, look, there are things in this city that we could, we could honestly put forward to people and say, these things are great. I mean, we have got the world's largest furniture showroom. <laughs> no. And we, we, we have got this thing out at the Northland Shopping Centre, which is sort of out that way a bit, and, and they, they've got a donut machine out there, and you can stand, you know, outside, and, and you can look and see them making the donut. <laughs> but I mean, do they put those things in here? Of course they don't. And what about our great festival, the festival of the people? Moomba! Magic in the air! Moomba! Ludwig! Ludwig! Moomba! Ludwig, do your impression of Moomba. <laughs> that's Ludwig's impression of Moomba. For those of you who have never been, that's very, very accurate. <laughs> and every year here, every, every December here in Melbourne, uh, we have this thing called Christmas. And it's great. I mean, everybody goes. And in at the Burke Street Mall in the city, that's mall spelt M-A-U-L. They made a real mess of that. <laughs> in at the Burke Street Mall, Myers Emporium make up these beautiful Christmas windows. They're really fantastic. And everybody goes, you know, year after year. I've been to every one since I was four months old. I was an August baby. In fact, I've got one of the Myers Christmas windows here for you to have a look at. Uh, they look a bit like this. Um, <laughs> Or, if you're a shop dummy, they look, um, they look a little bit like that, you know? And that's the Myers Christmas... And you can see they're beautiful things, the Myers Christmas window. And people go to see them. They go after dinner, you know? Everybody has their dinner at home, and then they go, you know? And it's really fantastic. And the, there are people... You won't... There are people in this world who, every Christmas... Look, it's the only... Look, let me explain. It's the only place in the world where you can go at nine o'clock at night and see a grown man and his grown wife and their not-so-grown children in dressing gowns. <laughs> there, there are people in this world who, every December, put on their pyjamas, put on their dressing gowns, get in their cars and drive from as far away as Tasmania in to see the Myers Christmas window. They walk up and down, up and down, up and down, and then they go home and they take off their dressing gowns and they get into bed and they go to sleep and they don't get up again until next December. They put on their dressing gowns and drive in to see... Melbourne is a fascinating place. So next time you think holidays, Think Melbourne. <laughs>